What's up everybody? Thanks for watching today, baby. All right guys, today we're gonna talk about copy and paste versus off-label sublocade discussion. So before we get into this, I wanna make sure that you guys know I'm not a doctor and nothing on this channel is medical advice. If you are struggling with addiction, please seek out your own medical doctor, guys. Everything on this channel is for entertainment purposes only and for me to share my experience with you and for you guys to share your experience with others. So, all right, so today I wanted to talk about copy and paste sublocade doses versus off-label sublocade doses. Now, I know that there might be some frustrating situations for some of you guys. There was somebody on the live stream tonight that had said that their doctor cannot get insurance to approve. They're over 65, and because they were on, what was it, two or four milligrams of oral suboxone that they cannot transfer to the sublocade shot because they're on a lower dose. Um, and I know that some states are going to be different. Many doctors will be different as far as going, if they're willing to go off label to adjust for your suboxone, your lower suboxone dose. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about what the copy and paste version of sublocade looks like, what many of you might expect when you talk to your doctor for the first time about sublocade. Um, versus what it looked like for me talking to my doctor for the first time about sublocade, right? So many, many people are going to have to be on a higher dose of oral suboxone. Um, you might have to increase your dose of oral suboxone, which might look like a big step back to you and your doctor, right? Especially if you've been working on tapering. But if you know that your taper is not going to be successful in the long run to be able to taper off suboxone, or you've tried it a few times, this is where they, you kind of run into the crossroads, right? You need to you need to figure out what's going to work best for you. So, where was I going with this? All right. So the copy and paste, basically uh, the uh, the old school way to do it, I would say, kind of it's kind of getting outdated, honestly, because a lot of people are going off label now. I'm seeing it here on the channel. So what that looks like is everybody gets the same dose, right? You start off with 300 milligrams of sublocate your first shot. In 30 days later, you go back in for another 300 milligram shot of sublocate, okay? And then you automatically go right down to 100 milligrams the next shot, and then 100 milligrams a shot after. So they basically just say, here's four shots, here's four doses, everybody gets the same dose. Well, what's the problem with that, guys? The problem is that everybody's on a different dose of Suboxone, right? There's people that I talk to on this channel that are down to a speckle of a speckle of a speckle per day, right? Um, like a quarter of a quarter of a milligram. And then there's people I talk to that are on 36 plus milligrams of Suboxone a day, right? So that's a huge variety of doses that people are on out there. So to say that every single person that wants to get on Sublocade and they want to move on with getting out of the daily oral addiction habit of taking something every day, since I have done that for 15 years before I found Suboxone, Sublocade, I couldn't break that habit no matter what I tried, right? I tried it many times here on the channel. Some could say maybe you just didn't want it bad enough and maybe that's true, guys, I don't know. But what the fact remains is I couldn't do it no matter how hard I tried for many, many years, right? The only thing that worked to break that mental addiction to taking something every day was sublocate. This is fact. You guys have seen this happen on the channel. This is just how it's gone for me. So my dose, as you guys remember, I started at on only 150 milligrams, okay? So that's half of the 300 milligram shot squirt right out before it was squirted into my belly. It's that simple. There's no rocket science behind this stuff. It's literally as simple as squirting out half of your shot, okay? Your doctor doesn't have to be a rocket scientist to go off label with your sublocade shots, okay? So there's also other ways that you can adjust your dosing and that's by spacing out your shots for longer than the copy and paste one month time period of being on sublocade, right? They prescribe it as something that you should get every month and in my personal opinion. Remember guys, I'm not a doctor. I have looked into the science of this medication. It is known that the half-life of sublocate is 45 to 60 days. What does that mean? That means that after 45 to 60 days, 
half of the medication has worn off. So you still have half of that medication in there after 45 to 60 days, but what's the problem? The problem is if you're going in every 30 days, can you see the problem here? Your medication is going to be stacking in your blood before it can have a chance to wear off, right guys? So my doctor has been letting me call the shots as far as when I want to schedule my next shot. As you guys have seen here on the channel, I've been spacing out my doses further and further each time and I have noticed no problems in doing that, guys. No problem at all. My last shot was spaced out eight full weeks. No problem, right? And I, I was down to the 100 milligram shot too. So I went two full months and I even lowered my dose again. I'm down to the 75, to, how do I keep saying the 75? There is no 75 milligram shot. It's simply you order the 100 milligram shot and you squirt 25% of it out or roughly 25%, right? It's not gonna be perfect, obviously. This is Sublicade's fault for not making more doses. We need more doses, Sublicade. If there's somebody that is in the drug manufacturing, <laughs> Create a generic for people who need this medication. We need more doses, way more doses availability because it's working for people who are on lower doses of Suboxone. I'm proof of that. People on this channel are telling me the same thing every single day. We need lower doses. We need more, um, we need generic versions of this medication. We need this stuff ASAP guys because there are a lot of people out there who are unable to get access to this brilliant medication just because their Suboxone dose isn't right or just because their insurance won't cover a $2,000 a month shot. There's no reason on earth that I could think of that this shot should be $2,000, guys. Buprenorphine is cheap, right? We understand that, yes, Sublocade made a great medication, so we know that they have to profit a lot of money off of this, but not that much, guys. Come on, that's... That's ridiculous that they're charging anybody $2,000 for a once a month injection, right? So I just wanted to talk about this stuff, guys. That's kind of what it looks like. That's something maybe you can talk to your doctor about. Maybe you could show him this video. Um, if your doctor is old school and everything's by the books 100%, chances are he's not gonna swift from the, he's not gonna change from the copy and paste. You know, I had my, my, my first mat um, Suboxone doctor was like that. He was an old dinosaur doctor and he was so outdated. He thought every single person had to be on 16 milligrams of Suboxone. And he started a good friend of mine, his wife, on 16 milligrams of Suboxone. And it was way, 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 way too high, guys. She had not had that kind of a, a tolerance to opiates. She took like a Loratab 10, you know, two or three, four or five times a day, right? But to take 16 milligrams of Suboxone all at once, to go from somebody who's been taking just some Lortab 10s throughout the day, it's way too strong, guys. It was way too strong. And she, even even on when she just took half of it, she was like, couldn't even walk, I guess is what the story was. Couldn't drive a car if she had to or something like that. So that just goes to show you guys that not all doctors are created equal. Some other doctors will be better than others. Some will have more experience with certain medications than others. Just remember guys that doctors are people too. They still have their own lives outside of their, <laughs> their work, right? Not every doctor is going to know what it feels like to be on all these different medications and all the different side effects. That's why we have channels like this that people like me that can share what it actually feels like to be on certain drugs or certain doses of drugs and tell you all the side effects and all the nitty gritty stuff that your doctor quite honestly doesn't have time to educate you guys on. It, it would be great if every doctor could study every thousands of medications that they can prescribe. Let's find, let's deep dive every little single one of these medications. What little side effects could happen from this? What little side effects could happen from that? They don't have enough time in the world to do that guys. So please, Understand that about doctors. Remember, they're people too. They have normal lives outside of work. They can't just be studying Suboxone, supplicate side effects, and doses all day long. Um, if you have an open-minded doctor like mine, maybe he'll listen to this video. Maybe he'll listen to your story. You can tell him why you think starting on a lower dose of supplicate would be a better fit for you if you're on a lower dose of Suboxone, right? Due to the long half-life, you should be totally fine with that, right? So... Uh, if you guys have any questions, if I miss something, please let me know. Hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.